what's up guys so today I'm really excited to be filming this haul for you because I'm going to be trying on the products as I'm showing you Kiehl's just came to Sephora which is super exciting I've heard um, some good things about it and I'm just wanting to switch up my skincare routine my skin has gotten better than where it was but I want to like take it to the next level and I'm gonna get a facial tomorrow so I'm thinking like you know I could try all this new stuff tonight and if my skin freaks out then I'll just let the facialist handle it tomorrow <laughs> so right now I'm not looking too hot what little makeup I have on which is just foundation and mascara and a little bit of brow um what do you call that brow brow pencil so I have a little bit of brow pencil in um it has all been on my face since about 8 8 30 this morning and it's now 8 54 we are well past 12 hours at this point so disregard everything I also just left the gym so everything's probably like wiped off and not cute so I'm ready to wash my face so I basically thought this was the perfect time to go ahead and actually try this stuff while I'm showing it to you just to do something a little different than the usual like show and tell so I just bought this stuff on Sunday I do have the um, Sephora Rouge so you get um, two days shipping so it is Wednesday and I got here which is exciting <gasps> oh, that workout Alright, so before we get into all the skincare stuff, I want to go ahead and show you what I got um, as far as makeup. I just got one thing, which is of course the foundation I talk about in every single video I've probably ever made. Not really, but close to it. This is a Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I use the shade Snow any time that I am not fake tanned, which I don't ever really do that, like sometimes. This is a great shade for me. I have a whole like section in my makeup drawer of just these foundations i have a whole bunch i like to use them on any and everybody dry oily normal accommodation acne perfect skin i just find this works for everybody um i just kind of set it differently depending on the different skin type but i love this foundation i highly recommend it so the first thing i want to talk about um skincare wise is going to be the cleanser because i'm ready to wash my face um i've had some sweat sitting on it for a good hour now and that is a no-no ladies you can wear makeup at the gym but wash your face immediately after like as soon as you get home or even if you can while you're at the gym that's good too but this one is the Kiehl's Midnight Mac <clears throat> what but this is a Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil um, it has a word I can't say evening primrose oil and lavender essential oil I was looking between this and the fresh cleansing oil um, the fresh cleansing oil had more ingredients but I am trying to stay more simple with my skincare recently just because I think my skin is just sensitive and it doesn't like all these different things so I'm just trying to be a little bit more simple so I did go with the Kiehl's one and I also wanted to try to stick with a lot of the same line that way they are kind of working together but this one looks cool it has some uh, omega-6 fatty acids sulfate free mineral oil free non-communogenic so yeah let's put this on our face all right so I have a bowl of water in front of me and I hope to god my camera doesn't come like falling down on it and also I have like a million lights that are plugged in to various outlets and I'm just scared that I'm gonna die the directions say dispense three to four pumps into a dry or wet hands and massage into the dry skin including eye area add water and massage skin to emulsify rinse with lukewarm water and pat dry with a soft towel for long wear and waterproof makeup i am wearing waterproof mascara right now before cleansing dispense two pumps into a cotton pad and gently press the area for 10 seconds um i don't i don't have that so we're not gonna do that sorry it smells good so i'm gonna go ahead and work this into my eyes it's probably a bad idea because then i won't be able to see <sighs> I mean, I can feel it taking it off. Ooh. All right, now I'm going to take a couple more pumps to do the rest of my face. It does smell good, but it doesn't have like a crazy scent. This one is just fragranced with um, lavender oil, as far as I know. So if that's true, I'm not making that up. That is a good thing. I've been trying to not do like fragrances in my skincare. I'm gonna do one more pump for good measure because it said like three to four and I only used two on my face. Get up in that hairline. So I'm just gonna use this washcloth and wipe that off. 
and yes there's a lots of spots on my face that you didn't see a minute ago my skin it's just you know not having a good time it didn't sting my eyes or anything of course I have like an oily film over my eyes because I didn't really like oh I forgot to rinse with water damn it try it one more time not very good at this I do feel like my skin is clean and it feels super super soft right now I do really want to go in with a toner but for the sake of this video I am NOT I'm um, just because I just want to use the new stuff that I got only this is the Kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate it is a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning I am about it I can actually read the majority of everything on the ingredients list which is great it is paraben free mineral oil free the directions say massage two to three drops onto freshly cleansed skin avoiding the immediate eye area but before I do that let me go ahead and talk about the other moisturizer that I got this is the Kiehl's ultra facial cream it says it's a 24 hour light textured daily hydrator leaves skin comfortable and visibly well balanced particularly in harsh weather conditions I do have dry to normal skin so especially at nighttime I do go for like more intense things now I am going to try to use this during the day but we'll see how it goes I've actually haven't used a um, like true moisturizer um too too much lately I've just been going for mainly oils so I really want this to be the first thing that gets on my skin so I'm going to go in with the um midnight recovery Con concentrate first oh god I wasted a drop and the nice thing about that cleanser um, was that whole time I was talking about those these other two moisturizers um, my face didn't feel dry so that cleanser really didn't strip my face which was nice and it definitely doesn't feel like it's going to like sit on the skin too too much it feels like it's like really absorbing in which is nice I guess that's the difference between like an oil and elixir I suppose but it feels really nice I like that so far and now that that's kind of had a second to settle in I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that ultra facial cream I'm just gonna take what's on the cap here not too much it's actually a lot sorry <laughs> but I really like to lather my skin and moisturizer at nighttime it doesn't have a scent which is nice I didn't get a new um, eye cream but they do have one that I was eyeing I really want to try these few things and if they work out I'll continue to buy more from Kiehl's all right and last thing I got the Sunday Riley Saturn sulfur acne treatment mask so my facialist last time I seen her I did a vlog of my first facial experience I think it's the last video or maybe two videos ago um, so go check that out um, maybe Maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, the facialist did recommend that I start working in sulfur spot treatments. I know that you can buy sulfur pretty affordably like on Amazon and I think they have like a ointment type deal that's sulfur um, at like Walmart and stuff but I wanted to try to get like you know the real deal. It is a 10% sulfur. It penetrates pores to combat blackheads. Helps prevent new acne blemishes and blackheads from forming. Thank you Jesus. Okay I'm glad this says this because this is what I was planning on doing anyways. It says it can be used as an overnight treatment. Spot apply the blemish before bed and rinse well in the morning. If excess drying occurs follow up with the UFO acne treatment face oil and reduce use. So I actually do have that UFO acne treatment face oil. Um, I really really do enjoy it and I was originally going to just repurchase that but I ended up getting this instead just to try that try something a little different so from what I've heard sulfur smells really bad it doesn't really smell that bad so that's good it does look like I have several spots of concerns um, but a lot of those are just old stuff that hasn't healed yet so I'm just gonna put it on anything that was like recently active which is this and this this one for show Got a little bit of clog pour over here. And one more thing, this is just a sample that I got. This is the Form Multitask Leave-In Lotion that I got for my hair. This was just a free little thing from Sephora, but pretty cool that it is a deluxe size sample. Thank you for looking at my um, blemished skin the whole half of this video. Please don't leave any rude comments 
because I will just delete them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this quote unquote try on haul. This is definitely fun and different. Um, and let's just hope my face doesn't like fall off in the morning. Um, but I really don't think this stuff will irritate my skin. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But um, the ingredients do just seem super nice and not too crazy. It didn't have a crazy scent. Um, and nothing's burning my skin. Even the sulfur um, mask. So pray for my face. I am getting a facial tomorrow, so I'm hoping to have, like, amazing skin, like, ASAP. But this is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.